Good day, ladies and gents. Hope you're ready for a bit of news. First of all, I'd love to answer the question from the comments on my previous video. Lots of people ask which camera I'm using at the moment. I'm running Sony A6100 with a stock lens. Camera is not cheap, but totally worth it in my opinion. All right, as for the news of today, I've never seen any videos on YouTube. I haven't seen any other content creators talk about Lightkeeper giving tasks as well as giving rewards for those tasks. So I've got a video for you. One of my uh, viewers managed to unlock Lightkeeper and finish one of the quests for him yesterday. And that's what I'm going to share with you. So some of you might have seen other content creators showing the interaction with the Lightkeeper, but they weren't receiving any quests. And I'm going to skip the the whole previous interaction to not waste your time and we're gonna go straight to the quest part and the lightkeeper doesn't talk too much about the quest you just ask him if he's got any work for you and you accept it and after you accept it and you leave the room you get the quest which in this case is uh, survive. So I have an extract from woods using the Uber and the same thing applies to, to the rest of the maps. And I think as soon as you do this, there will be a couple of more steps for the quest, which we'll see a bit later. So my viewer finished the quest. He crossed the bridge using the, <laughs> the butt plug. He checked out on Zriachi, our friendly boss. And he went to submit the quest to the Lightkeeper. And you get an item in your inventory after you finish Lightkeeper quests. Advanced Electronics Materials Book. I think this might be needed for another quest or you can trade it for something. But anyway, this is how the whole uh, questing system for Lightkeeper works. And it's pretty cool. I like, I like the interaction. Another thing worth mentioning is that right now when you repair your armors and your weapons, there is a small chance you're gonna and, and, and enhance and chance. Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna buff your weapons uh, with different stats as well as armors. And it doesn't happen very often. There are some common buffs, some red buffs. For example, this time the guy got a uh, decreased chance of malfunction by 15%. I think you can get recoil reduction for guns as the most rare one. Um, may, 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 maybe not. And you can get damage reduction for armors. I've seen I've seen a screenshot of armor with 20% damage reduction. Another little change which I'm very excited about is that you can find Zhuk level 6 armor on scavs now. I got a screenshot from one of my viewers that killed a usual scav. It wasn't a boss, it wasn't a player, it was just a usual scav. And I managed to get a Zhuk from them. Um, 65 out of 65 points, brand new Zhuk. This is my favorite armor in the game, but since BSG disabled the trade on Ragman like three or four wipes ago, I didn't really play with it much. So seeing those armors on scavs is definitely a big plus. And maybe we're gonna be seeing even more rare and top tier items on scavs. Not very often, but at least sometimes. In case if you didn't know, I daily stream on Twitch. Feel free to check me out there for some professional Tarkov gameplay. I click heads pretty well. And those are all the news for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.